Hello, and welcome back to Pleasant View. This is going to be the final episode for Tuesday, and next we are going to move over to Wednesday this week. So we are going to finish it up with Ricky Cormier. And uh, he lives over here in this apartment lot together with his uh, partner, Phoenix. So here we are at the apartment lot, and uh, Ricky lives down here together with Phoenix. And they are currently cuddling in bed. But the both of them are going to have to get up soon. Ricky is currently employed as a convenience store clerk. But that is going to change today. Because um, he's been aiming for joining the photography career. <laughs> or what to call it. For a very long time. And um, he has been um, having the hobby on the side. Uh, besides painting. To take photos and um, he wants to start to work with that and um, what with the newly started well not newly started but uh, I have recently created the uh, newspaper in town run by Danielle Lillard and uh, Ricky is going to be employed as a freelance photographer for that newspaper so he will take on jobs for them basically and um, combined with that I'm also going to make him the town's wedding photographer so uh, Ricky will take on jobs for the newspaper and he will also take on jobs for uh, the weddings in town so that's what we're going to start out with today we're actually both going to send him to work at the newspaper and also to a wedding uh, to take some photos <laughs> so that's what we're going to do and um, that means that his career level is going to change um, currently he's at level three but he's going to have to be elevated all the way up to level 8. Because that is the freelance photographer career. So I'm going to bring out the Sim Blender for him. Yes, and there we have it. Freelance photographer. Um, so as for working, he has the day off technically. But um, today I'm going to just start things out. Um, and I think that whenever there are weddings, he's going to work no matter if he has work hours or not. I think that these work hours, as well as the salary, should be viewed as his uh, employment at the, um, uh, at the newspaper. Whereas the weddings is more of a, um, well, an evenings kind of thing. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And he also has a job stopinator to prevent him from um, changing level. So that's going to be good for Ricky, I think. So let's just uh, get them out of bed. Because, yeah, Phoenix is going to have to, to head to work soon. He's still a mailroom technician at Landgrab Industries. But, um, yeah. For now, I think he is fine with that job level. Previous to that, he was just a convenience store clerk. So for him, this is a, a big step up. And... Um, I don't think he's all that ambitious when it comes to, to careers. So I think that he's fine with this level. Um, for now at least. He's still very young. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, so I'm going to send Phoenix into the bathroom. And Ricky can um, make some breakfast for them. Right, so Ricky has um, immersed himself in his work, I think, lately, because um, he's been um, trying to distance himself from his um, struggles with family. He is a romance sim, but he's a secondary family sim as well, and his lifetime wish is to have six grandchildren. And um, even though Ricky isn't um, like married and have a wife and children and, and things like that, or even adopted children. Um, he dreams of uh, having genetic children, <laughs> his own children. Um, and so far he has had one together with uh, Lilith Vicious or Lilith Pleasant, as you might know her. And um, the thing is, though, that she is not letting him see his daughter, Hope. And uh, so far she has grown into a toddler only just and 
Ricky has attempted to like get in contact with Lilith and when she hasn't returned his phone calls, he's even attempted to go over to her house um, in order to see his daughter, but he's been rejected every time and uh, he's starting to get really um, broken down, I think, mentally and uh, emotionally because he wants to get to know his daughter so, so badly. <laughs> he might be carefree and flirtatious and um, someone who hasn't always made the best decisions, but he definitely wants to step up and become a father for Hope and the fact that he won't be allowed to is, is really heartbreaking for him. Um, and so I think that that has, has pushed him into pursuing his uh, career path instead. But of course, that's constantly on his mind and um, he doesn't know really what to do about it. And I think that Phoenix is starting to get frustrated as well because from his point of view, he thinks that uh, Ricky, of course, has every right to have a relationship with his daughter, to get to know her. And um, I think that he encourages Ricky to bring Lilith to court, basically, um, in order to... In order to get permission to see his daughter and um, yeah, have her over here um, a few days in the week, so that they can, um, so she can live uh, at both places basically. Um, but I think that Ricky wants to avoid that at every cost, because um, he has this history with Lilith and also with her twin sister Angela. Um, he was engaged to be married with Angela um, many years ago and he ended up leaving her at the altar. So that is uh, also part of the history and, and of course combined with the fact that he accidentally made Lilith pregnant as well. Things aren't really that healthy <laughs> in their relationships between uh, both Lilith and Ricky and also between um, yeah, Ricky and Angela and Angela and Lilith. So far, Lilith has been able to keep it quiet, who Hope's father is. Um, but of course, her, her biggest fear is that the word will get out and that her sister will learn about it. Um, but from Ricky's point of view, of course, he's heartbroken because he can't get to know his daughter. And um, yeah, I think he understands where Phoenix is coming from about bringing Lilith to court and actually have it decided black and white that he sh he will um, be able to be a father for Hope. Um, but at the same time, I think he's very cautious about ruining his relationship with Lilith even further as well, especially if they're going to have a, a shared responsibility for Hope. So it's definitely a very difficult situation for him. And for now, I think he, he wants to attempt to chase Lilith down basically and uh, have a conversation with her about it and try to um, decide as adults what to do without involving um, the court <laughs> um, because that would make it all so formal uh, so difficult and so um, so so cold basically so I think that as they have their breakfast that is something that um, is coming up. <laughs> I think it's been coming up a lot lately. And um, yeah, I think that at this point, Phoenix is probably pushing Ricky a little bit um, because he's not one of those who can sit quietly and leave things be. He, uh, he wants to get involved and get things done, um, basically. So but they can't sit in here and talk forever. They also need to get ready for um, work. Right, so the carpool is arriving for Phoenix um, and he will head out to Landgrab Industries. We can also see the, the Langrax are leaving for school <laughs> as well. But then Ricky is just getting freshened up in preparation for his first workday at the um, newspaper. Right, so I think that this is actually a pretty good point to, to leave him and move over to the Lillard household.
Right, so this is the apartment lot where Daniela lives and she's currently on her own because her daughter Simone is at the daycare center. So she's going to have her morning to herself and I'm gonna start it out just by sending her to freshen up and have some breakfast. So this is going to be Danielle's first day at um, work after taking over the local newspaper. And it's the, the same newspaper as she's reading on the loo right now. Um, and I've called it the Daily View. That's the name of the local newspaper. So I uh, have promoted her to magazine editor. I take a, took a look at the... Um, levels that were available and I just thought that that was the only one that made sense. Um, the I don't know if you have taken a look at the journalism career levels but <laughs> they're pretty um, specific. <laughs> it's not very um, accustomed to use for, for general career levels one could say. Um, so I've had to, yeah, just go with with it being that high a level for her, similarly to how I had to do it for Ricky as well, uh, seeing as he's at level eight in his career now. But he'll just have to work out. And as you can see, Danielle will arrive, um, will go to her job in an hour. So she starts at nine, and that's where the uh, when the newspaper will start up, I guess. But um, yeah, the paper delivery uh, till. No teens, it is. <laughs> it seems to. Uh, we'll arrive and um, pick up the newspapers in the morning, basically. Yeah, so I think that Danielle only has time to get dressed, make the bed, and then leave, I think. Right, good. And I bought it for her as well. That's good. So it's the daily view. And then of course, as with all of the other active careers that I use, uh, she's going to head properly to work once she has arrived back home. So Danielle has arrived. And this is the first time that I'm actually at this lot. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of set up. Let's just turn on all the lights. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to take out the... Oh, there is a visitor controller here already. So I'm going to ban everyone. So only the selectable sims can be here. Because there's no use in having any walkbys or customers coming here. So yes. And then we also need a, a sim blender. And that's in this corner here already. So right, so we have both Ricky Cormier and Lucy Bertino here. Previously Lucy Burb. And she is the only other sim besides Danielle in this hood who works in the journalism career. But as you can see, she's <laughs> she's only at level two as a blog writer, and uh, that's gonna change. I have prepared a spreadsheet for this. So I have a new tab for the daily view and uh, yeah, Danielle sits at the level nine as a magazine editor. And then we have the investigatory journalist, the sports columnist, the horoscope writer, the obituary writer and the fact checker. So as I mentioned, they're, they're pretty specific um, and I didn't feel like there was any other description of a career uh, level that could fit. Danielle, so yeah, she ended up at level nine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have also the freelance photographer, but that's part of the, um, the slacker career rather than the journalism career. So I actually entered Lucy as a fact checker. And uh, I think that that is actually a career level that could be used also for young adults during their studies. Uh, I think it would be okay for them to, to start at that level if they work or like if they study something like literature or something I guess um, just so that they can get a foot in um, but then a degree and everything would be needed for, for all of the other levels and I think that Lucy wants to work her way up 
here. But uh, it makes sense to me that for now, seeing as the magazine is so small, we have only have like Danielle and Lucy who works on the, the text and the layout and everything. And then Ricky who, who takes the photos so and edits them, I guess, as well. Um, so I'll have to say, I think that this business is going to, to grow a lot in the future. But for now, it just it's just this. So I'm going to have to change Lucy's career level as well to level four. Oh, right. I already have one here. Yeah, good. So now she's a fact checker. That's perfect. And that actually also aligns pretty well with the work hours. Some of the other career students. <laughs> so um, I think I had to improvise a bit there. And then, of course, Ricky's work hours are very different, but... Um, yeah, I think he, he probably comes in here to to meet his uh, co-workers, even though he's freelance. Um, they're sort of his, his co-workers, I guess, anyway. Um, and then discuss how they are going to want the pictures for the, the articles and go out together with them as well in, on interviews and stuff. So it's going to be a combination, I think. But that's why I think his work hours work anyway. So, yeah, let's just start out with having the three of them sit down and, and get to know each other better. I don't even know if they... No, they don't even know each other. Uh, so, yeah, of course, uh, Danielle is going to have to greet Lucy because she hasn't even met her. But apparently she... She already knows Ricky. Uh, okay, the first thing that happens is that uh, Lucy, for some reason, wanted to flirt with Ricky, but yeah, oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> oh, well, uh, so let's just have them sit down here at the table. So I'm just gonna let them sit here and chat for a while. Um, just to build up, up some relationship between them. Um, that's one of the, the good things about these community lots, uh, of course, is that um, they can get to know their co co-workers and everything. And uh, I think that if they're going to work pretty closely together, it's good to invest a little bit of time on that to start out. And uh, speaking of time, uh, I think I haven't adjusted it here. Do I even have a time control clock here? Doesn't look like it, so I need to take that out. And let's set it to 50. Yes, good. That should give us a bit more time. <laughs> uh, and also probably a um, need freak. Just to avoid that um, both the energy goes down because I want... Um, Danielle to have enough energy when she comes home to actually go to work and spend her day that way. Um, but also I need to pay attention to the hygiene because apparently that's the case really quickly. Um, so defender mode. And all only energy. Let's put that to static 100. And hygiene. Oh, wait, I need to do all max 100, all minimum minus 100, and then uh, let's see, energy static 100, and hygiene minimum. Let's make Yeah, I think minus 50 is fine for for hygiene. So the setup is like this now. Yes, good. Oh wait, minus 50. That's, no, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Um, so it should be plus 50. There it is. That should work. So I will change the model to a bonsai tree and then put that on her desk. Yeah, there we go. That should be fine. So 
so that should bump up their energy to to max and um yeah hygiene should only go down to like here somewhere i think <laughs> looks like uh, ricky and danielle already had a pretty good relationship to start out but um after lucy's uh, very strange flirtation <laughs> i don't know what she was up to um things drop down quite a bit for ricky at least hmm. all right so i think that um they are making a little bit of progress even if it's slow but <laughs> it looks like lucy is not endearing herself to ricky uh, can I have her apologize? No. No, they can't apologize. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think they'll just have to work work it out eventually then. So, yeah, I think it would be a good idea for just, just to start things out here. Because this is going to be Danielle's office. So I suppose that she should, should just start out with working on some articles here so she is uh, very much underskilled for her position <laughs> obviously um and yeah her hobby is games so she's basically been working on logic mainly as you can see but that's not even a requirement for her job so Yeah, I think maybe let's go with um, here. Let's go with charisma. I think that would be a good thing for her. And looks like Lucy needs to work on her cooking. So I'm going to have her do that as well. But maybe, maybe I should um, try to have her talk a bit more with Ricky. <laughs> So things aren't so awkward between them to start out, at least. I mean, Lucy is, um, of course, the cousin of Lilith and Angela. So they don't, they don't have like the best, best start anyway, <laughs> besides this. Um, but I think that Ricky is one of those people who will be able to endear himself to the people who might have a bad opinion of him from the start. Of course, this time it's the other way around, though, so... <laughs> oh, it looks like Ricky might just genuinely not like her <laughs> or something, because, yeah, this is not going well. Well, I think I'll just leave that alone, then. Just did not make a good first impression, so... Right, so let's see here. I think I was thinking that this desk should be for photo editing or something because I, I left the camera there. <laughs> um, yeah, but Lucy can take this desk, I think. So let's have her work on cooking. And Ricky, how about you? It's not really a photography skill. Or anything like that. But of course he needs to, to work on his skills also technically. I mean mechanical sort of work uh, makes sense I think. So I don't think he should write any articles. Because that's not, that's not why he's here. Uh, but he can study mechanical I think works out for now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make a habit of having Ricky here. Um during the work hours but uh, i think that like playing the uh, journalism career i i should send them out on um, to other places basically and then let's say for example that lil um that danielle brings ricky with her to interview marisa bendet for example at the um this town hall and then those two will go together uh, to chat with her and then Ricky will take some photos and, and things. So I think the, that kind of thing. Or if something happens that Lucy is sent out to to investigate something, <laughs> she will bring Ricky with as well. Yeah. 
I think that that makes more sense than having him come in here regularly. Um, maybe just to catch up with him at the end of the day, day or something. To have a meeting. That makes sense. All right, so Danielle has finished her article and uh, just about time because it looks like it's time for lunch. And um, yeah, I had like a vague idea that maybe Danielle should bring lunch with her for her workers. Um, but uh, I think that I'm going to want to add this business to one of those who gets food from Randy's new restaurant. So I think next time I play this, I will just have Daniel go to his place first and pick up some lunch and then bring it here. If that's necessary when there are just two of them, I guess, yeah, I guess maybe. Um, I don't think they can keep leftovers. I have to think about it, but I think, yeah, maybe sometimes. Certainly when Ricky comes in anyway, and maybe eventually some more people, uh, of course, but hmm. Yeah, but for now, I'm just going to have them have the usual TV dinners. All right, so it looks like there's something um, wrong with the routing for the fridge. I think maybe, have I put it like in the wall or something? Yeah, yeah, looks like she can't access it for some reason. So let's see what I've done. <laughs> looks like everything is a little bit shifted, maybe. Or is it? No, it shouldn't be. Interesting. Let's just um, move everything just a little bit then. Or maybe, no, that, hmm. I think things will be very fiddly. Yeah, let's try that maybe. Now that is weird because there's no wall here, is there? I haven't like accidentally put in a an invisible wall. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, why don't I try to set, buy a new one then? Mm, okay, that is so weird. Let's try another fridge. Okay, wait, there's something weird looking here. When I move it this way, you can see there's something that appears on the side of it. What's that? Is there something here? Is it the curtains? No. That's bizarre. <laughs> I'm just going to try and see if you can use it if I put it there. She can actually. So it's not that whatever that is. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, well, let's hope it works now. I still don't know what this is. What is this weird line? Okay, Ricky, you can uh, stop that and use the bathroom. Oh, Lucy's already ahead of you. <laughs> Let's just hold on a bit. And then when she's done, she can have TV dinner. And now at least the fridge works, so that's the most important thing. <laughs> so yeah, she can just sit here when he, she's finished so that he can chat for a bit longer. Okay, Ricky is also done. Yeah, it looks like Danielle isn't having very much fun at work. <laughs> oh, but I wanted you to sit here, dear. Yeah, okay, looks like Danielle doesn't have the, the patience to do this. Uh, <laughs> apparently Lucy tried to, to grab some of Ricky's lunch. So it looks like Lucy is, for some reason, uh, autonomously trying to be flirty with him. I don't know why, because she's very much in love with her husband. 
<laughs> but I guess maybe she's just uh, can't resist Ricky. Yeah. I think that uh, he would just clean up after himself and uh, that should be pretty much it for Ricky today. When there's a job for him to, to work on some pictures, they, he will get called in so that he can uh, go with. But for now, he doesn't really have anything specific to work on. So, Oh no, is it going to be this thing? That you're gonna go to the clock all the time. Yeah, okay. Um, it was nice seeing you, but uh, I am confiscating you. <laughs> you cannot be here. Um, hmm. So, question is because her fun is so low, uh, technically she could take a little break and do something fun. Um, but I don't want her to like sit down at her computer and play a game. That seems very. Um, <laughs> like not something you should do at work, even if it's your own workplace. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, she can't browse the web or anything. Yeah, she should be able to browse the web. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't look like like that's available. Um. Okay, let's just view a painting. <laughs> it's a bit cheaty, but what else can I do? What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. She's cleaning up. Oh, because Ricky is using that one. Okay. But yeah, I think it's time to say goodbye to Ricky. And then I'm just gonna keep Lucy and Danielle here until the four. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna just send Lucy back to write another article because I mean that's what they're here for, <laughs> basically. Um, so let's go with with cooking again then. And yeah. Danielle can do the same thing, basically. Yeah, you see it goes up a lot. <laughs> so I'll just do it once. Um so work at home, charisma. But that's a, a tip if you you have um, a sim that you need to really do something and they, they refuse because they have so low fun. You can just have them watch a painting and then it will bump up a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, do that a couple of times and it will be full. So yeah, so these guys are just sitting in one room each. Lucy has a very huge room here to work on her own, but hopefully eventually she'll have some uh, co-workers to work together with. That's good. So Danielle is also building up her skill. That's perfect. And yeah, and Lucy has also reached the necessary cooking skill that she needs. And uh, yeah, I don't think she has a job stop in it right now. And I don't think I'm going to add one for her because I think she should probably rise in the levels pretty much organically until she she's a bit further up. Um, seeing as she's been in the journalism career ever since being a student, as I recall. So I think, um, yeah, she's um, not... A young adult anymore and she's uh, actually a few days in on her adult life as well so I think it makes sense that she will start to progress a bit here. Also with the, so few of them working it makes sense. Great so Lucy's done and um, I think she's gonna head in here and uh, perhaps chat with Danielle for a little bit if they have the time. They have like 10 minutes left <laughs> of their work day. And once again, Danielle is uh, bored. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to have her sit down. Um, so I'm gonna just have them stand and chat instead. Just for a little bit because uh, these two are gonna work very closely together. Looks like their faces are frozen. I saw that on Ricky as well earlier. So I'm gonna 
bring out the bath box, fix stupid expressions, <laughs> and remove it again. Mm, okay, she's maybe I have to do it on Daniel for it to work. Yes, now it worked. <laughs> There are certain faces that they get stuck in sometimes. Um, also the one when they're like raising one eyebrow and dancing. <laughs> Looks very quirky. But it often happens with smiles as well, I've noticed. Yeah, well they're getting close to becoming friends. But yeah, this is the end of their workday. So I'm going to um, clear off Lucy. And then Danielle is going to just walk home. So this is uh, like the workday part of the journalism career that I can see. But of course, as I mentioned, also sending them out to, to other community lots and businesses that I have in the hood. Depending on what kind of story I want to tell, of course. All right, so we're back where we left off with Ricky. And um, seeing as he's been to work, um, he left around 1.30 I think and he should have like come home around 2 in the afternoon. I'm going to set our to 14 and that's gonna leave one hour until Phoenix arrives back. So I think that Ricky can just go ahead and uh, watch some TV for now. And then uh, I think that once Phoenix arrives home I'll send them out for a quick outing because um, Phoenix has been wearing this outfit for, well, <laughs> for as long as I've known him actually, because I gave him an, a makeover when he was still a townie. And um, yeah, even after making him playable, moving him in with Ricky, as you can see, I played him for, for a bit, like, yeah, 10 days, I think. He's had this outfit on, so I think it's time for him to, to have something new. For you, it might not seem like um, he needs it, but <laughs> to me, it's uh, way overdue for him to have something fresh. <laughs> and I think I'll also check what the hairstyles I can find. Maybe I can vary it up a little bit. Um, this would be okay to have like... For sleeping and things but uh, I'll check what other things I have. Um, it would have to be something that matches so it looks like it's just another hairstyle and not a complete other like haircut <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, so it should be home any moment so I think we can prepare by sending Ricky out here. Yeah here he comes and the school bus too. <laughs> Great. So, I mean, he wants to go on a date, actually. Um, so that's not a bad idea. I can, uh, I can have them go on a date and then leave together for the clothing store. Okay, good. Yeah, so let's have them uh, walk to lots. And it's uh, 330 Main Street. So here they come, walking up to the community lot. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to start out with just uh, going with some um, nice social interactions here. Um, maybe just move them over here so that they're not standing in the car park. <laughs> Right, so let's just uh, start it out with chatting and joking and uh, <laughs> those normal things. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> well, things are happening here. Looks like uh, Kaylin and Brandon are <laughs> um, out on their own date here. And uh, of course, Ricky saw them. Oh, he really, really hates them now. Um, being a family, uh, sorry, romance sim, he um, he still gets jealous like this when he sees his uh, lovers <laughs> do things. So, yeah, he's going to be annoyed at them for a bit, I think. <laughs> but yeah, let's just uh, focus on uh, Phoenix here. Mm. 
That's interesting. Um, Rick actually rolled the want to be friends with Lilith. And I think that that is too perfect not to lock that in. Um, that's definitely what he aims for right now, that he, he tries to make up with her, basically. And even if they can't become romantic... I'm not sure if he does want to, even if he has a crush on her, apparently still. But um, I think that he wants to just be friends again, because they were so close friends before all of this happened as well. Um, yeah, so, so I think that this makes so much sense. Okay, and apparently now Kaylin is uh, jealous instead. Uh, so, yeah. That's what happens with romance sims, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit funny that they get um, annoyed and jealous, even though they are like this, all of them. Um, but yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, so it looks like Ricky wasn't all of that into like being out and being romantic today, it looks like. He has a lot of other things on his mind. But Phoenix, on the other hand, he is very much like happy to be out and do stuff, seems like. Yeah, so let's just stop there for now. They have about four hours left, so I can send them into the clothing store. And yeah, let's have... Let's have um, Phoenix actually try on some clothes. I'm gonna try with this shirt. Um, I'm trying to keep both Phoenix's style as well as the uh, colding weather in mind. Um, but I want to see what this looks like on him. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, looks like Kaylin is attempting to um, flirt with Ricky. Oh, that's weird. He just tried it on not using a changing booth. Huh. Why did that happen? That's so strange. I tried it with the female ones before and they've uh, managed to do that. Um. Huh. So weird. <laughs> Weird things happening sometimes. Okay then. I didn't really have had a peace of mind to check what it looked like. So I guess I'll just try again. It looks like he attempted to go to it. But then it was interrupted and he had just changed here instead. Is the mirror in the way of the door or something? Or maybe... I have to just check so that they can actually walk into that room. But yeah, here he is. Hmm. It makes him look too old. Uh, that won't work for him. It, um, yeah. It looks good, but it doesn't look like him. That is. Uh, let me just check this first. Because he can go in here. But it. It's just that he didn't find it for some reason. Uh, I wonder if maybe maybe having this be uh, split into female and male not is the best idea. Maybe I should should open it up so that it's not a door at all. So it's just open wall here, at least two tiles, maybe. Um, yeah, I can try that. But yeah, I'll have to find something else for for Phoenix. But I guess I can just buy a couple of things and then uh, just see what suits. <laughs> right, so I got three shirts here uh, that I think will work well for him. And it's up to 600, so I think I'll, I'll just make do with that. His pants are fine. Um, so I'm just gonna buy those three. Apparently Ricky has been wanting to try on clothes. I guess he's walking all the way from uh, the wedding store then. He's just doing his own thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. So let's just uh, go in here and plan outfit for Phoenix. 
Ricky. He's just off to his own shenanigans. It looks like he's on the way now. <laughs> yeah, that's good for uh, spring possibly or summer because it's so short sleeved. But yeah, that's definitely his style as well. And yeah, this works too. But it doesn't work with the pants, so I would have to get him other pants for that one. So I think I'm going to go with this one uh, for now. That's good. That's freshened him up a little bit. And um, I'm also going to check um, if I have some hairstyle that I can use for his everyday. Just to change it up a bit. And I got this one, but that changes it the length. That changes the length of it. Um, that also implies longer hair. But that could be an idea. Because I think this is too long for him and too um, voluminous. I think he has pretty thin hair. That's too short, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I have like the perfect uh, hairstyle for Phoenix <laughs> in my folder right now. I'm envisioning something like... Um, like some hair hanging down and some hair being up in a bun or something like that. But I don't think I have it right now. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to let him keep his current hair for now. And then I'll see if I can uh, find something else for him later on. <laughs> right. Okay, but Phoenix has got some new clothes at least. So that's good. So let's just uh, use the opportunity here in the room where they they were alone before <laughs> Lauren decided to walk in for some reason uh, to make out of it. All right. So they are a little bit hungry. So let's just send them over here and get some. Yeah, let's try with hamburgers. Hopefully that will have them sit at the same table out here. I've had trouble with that in the past. <laughs> so let's see. Looks like he'll sit out here with the dirty plates. Oh good, Ricky took the same table. So they're having some romantic dinner here. Before um, Ricky's going to have to leave for the wedding. I keep getting these uh, errors about a uh, bistro dining chair of some sort. That's odd. wonder what that is. Because... Um, yeah, the only changes I've made to this lot is that I added in two, two of these, but I, yeah, they're not dining chairs, so <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I'll have to look into that later. Uh, Phoenix, no. <laughs> Please don't clean that up. No, just leave it. Yeah, good. Put it in the lantern. That's perfect. Okay, so Ricky, why don't you come over here too? So they're on a great date so far. Uh, but I mean, Ricky isn't really into it, it looks like. And Phoenix basically just wants it to be over. <laughs> So I guess I'll I'll have him hug him a bit, uh, but yeah, we don't really have all that much time anyway to to stay here. I think so. I think that's why they're a bit impatient. Yeah, see, he also wants it to be done. So um, let's just um, I can just have them walk home and then see if that rerolls their wants a bit. Phoenix has got um, his new clothes anyway, so. Uh, okay, they're not leaving. Let's try this again then. Yeah, so here they come and they're returning. But yeah, they still had the same ones really. Um, so, oh well, Phoenix re-rolled them, so I guess he wants some new stuff here. So let's just have them go inside. It's raining, so I don't really want to send them out to the hot tubs, but I could do that, of course, as well. <laughs> so let's just, um, yeah, let's have them cozy up in the sofa. 
We can spend a little bit of time here before Ricky has to leave for the church. I think the ceremony should start around five, maybe. I think that uh, seeing as it's a weekday, everyone has to also get back from work, you know. <laughs> Mm, okay, he wants to have a sneaky woohoo here. Uh, I think they should have time for that, actually. Seeing as I use the time control clock, uh, there's plenty of time usually, so <laughs> let's go with that then. Looks like Phoenix's uh, mood has dropped quite a bit. Do I have any perks for him? Hmm. Well, I could... Um, hmm. Question is... I mean, he's not very career-driven in that way, I think. Um, but he's definitely interested in um, money. And he hasn't really had any other conquests besides Ricky, so far at least. So um, I'm not sure if he's all that into a lot of people. Um, at least not yet. But yeah. Let's go with skilled negotiator then. Uh, for some reason, Phoenix is having a rose. Oh, right. Do you know what that is? That must be from um, when I played the restaurant. I actually had these two go on a date. Uh, so that rose must have triggered now um, from that date, actually. That's interesting that that, that still happened. All right, well, let's see if they make it before time runs out. Oh, oh, they just moved up and down again. Okay, now they're up to a dream date, okay. I see. Yeah, but they're gonna have to go up immediately again because uh, it's time for Ricky to leave for his uh, evening gig. So I'm going to have them uh, end the date. <laughs> yeah, and let's uh, head out to the church and start up the wedding. So we're at the Pleasant View Church and Christy is arriving to her first day at work wearing her um, formal outfit. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I must have set the clothing restriction with the visitor controller to formal for some reason here so that should be why she's wearing that so let's see here clothing yeah it's set to force formal um i wonder can i no i think that once you have forced one type of clothing you can't force it to anything else so i'm just gonna set it to force casual but the thing is, though, that Christy is going to have to start wearing her um, management outfit. So that's going to be her priest outfit. And I think that I should also add that as her formal outfit, actually. Seeing as, seeing as I think... No, actually, I don't think that matters when I think about it. Because she's always going to be here on the lot as a priest, not as a wedding guest. But then if there's a wedding where it's not at the church and she's invited as a guest, she should not wear her priest outfit, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm going to make her not wear that. Brandon used to have it as his formal wear. But I think that for him it made sense. Um, Christy is a lot more like youthful and like this type of outfit is really her style. So I think that she wouldn't want to look too frumpy. <laughs> when she's uh, not working so but yeah let's see management here somewhere set the uniform yeah there it is good so that's gonna be her um, priest uniform for where she is working here that's good right so seeing as i have to actually play the wedding um, with the correct family for it to work out. I have to make her go home now after I've checked that everything is looking in order and then go back to this lot with uh, Sophie and um, Lauren. 
So I'm just going to take a quick check. We have the wedding cake here and it looks fresh and everything. Um, this was fixed. I have to lock this for allow me only. Oh, this one has to also allow me only so that the wedding guests don't go in there. Um, also, also the previous time that I played the wedding, there were a lot of issues with people uh, not being able to first sit down to eat dinner and then sitting down to eat dessert because these the, the empty plates weren't being cleaned up by anyone. And I think that um, that's something that I can fix when I start up with the catering, Randy's catering. Then I could have Randy actually be here, uh, prepare the food, and then actually also clean up after everything is over and done with. Um, so I could create some sort of a kitchen area here, I think. Maybe screen it off somehow. Yeah, that could work because I still want to have the, the bathroom here, I think. Doesn't really make sense anywhere else. So yeah, that's what I'll do probably. But for this wedding, um, I might just go ahead and have Christy clean it up and I guess she'll have to clean it up in the sinks here. Unless I just take the moment now to, to fix this, maybe. I think I can actually move this table out here instead to like the, the reception area. Once everything is uh, done in the church, they can come in here instead and have a toast. I think that will be better routing wise as well, actually. So that makes sense. And that will give me a little bit more space here. And I think I can also actually shimmy this down a bit so that it sits there. Maybe even like this. Then I can remove this um, carpet. Maybe move this one up a little bit like that. And then I can build a wall here. And now we're gonna need a uh, door, so let's put that, yeah, like that, I think. And then all of these things, let's move the, them in here instead. Hmm, this one is tricky. Maybe I should put the flower there, one of them, and the other one in the corner here. Yeah. And then we can still have the statue and the balloons. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. That's more space efficient, I think. And then... Yeah, I could also put in more of these chairs to allow for two more guests to sit down. But then still have these two chairs be uh, a bit more spe special <laughs> so that the, it's for the uh, wedding couple to sit on it. Um, yeah, so that will actually allow me to put in a some sort of kitchen area here. Um, and it's not supposed to be anything fancy. It's literally just, um, I mean, you could have it be like a... Um, have a fridge in here just for looks but in order for the guests not to use it I'll have the door locked and maybe like uh, give Randy a key or something so that only he can use it I'll just go ahead and uh, catching her once, just because um, I need this to be ready now, uh, so I don't have patience to <laughs> wait for it. Um, so I'm putting in this trash 
compactor thing. But this one looked weird. So I'm... Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> they don't have much money now, but uh, yeah, that's fine. No, I'm just uh, catching them again because I feel bad. <laughs> so now, now it's back to normal again, I think. Um, yeah, so... Wait, there's no light in there. Let's just put in this. Yeah, good. So then um, Randy can clean up once that is done. But for now, I'm going to have to lock it for allow only Christy. So then she will take care of the dishes instead. That's good. And uh, yeah, besides that, I think everything is in order. We have the church here. And everything is looking good. Yeah, so I'll just send uh, Christy back home now that she has her, um, right, this one has to be, oh, it is locked first, good, so that they don't start wandering in there. Um, yeah, and I'll send um, uh, Lauren and Sophie over instead. So here we are in uh, Sophie and um, Lauren's condo, which was pro uh, previously Don Lothario's condo. <laughs> And they have both just returned from work. So yeah, Lauren is carpooling and Sophie has her own car here. So yeah, of course, Lauren is working at Landgrab Industries and Sophie is a police officer, as we saw in the previous episode. So they are both going to have to just, you know, get ready for the wedding, uh, which is very exciting. <laughs> so... I think that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have, um, have them clean themselves up a bit. And uh, yeah, Sophie needs to not eat that. Uh, <laughs> clean up, fill the bowl. And then poor Balin has been left alone at home today. And he really needs social. So one of them is going to have to take care of him before they leave as well. Let's see who's calling Lauren. <laughs> okay, interesting. It's uh, Oliver Bertino. And uh, they were neighbors for a very long time. So they are actually really close friends. Uh, he's actually also invited to the wedding. So I guess he uh, just needed some last minute instructions or something. <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't really have time to talk with him. So I'm just going to have her hang up for now. They'll see each other soon anyway. Yeah, so this is a um, an elder cat that they adopted in the previous episode. So it's really cute. Okay, good. So it looks like Sophie is autonomously cleaning up a bit. But I think it makes sense that they head out now, actually, because uh, it's only one hour until it's time. And um, I could have them dress in their formal outfits but since I had to set the um, the uh, visitor controller to force casual um, on the church lot I think that they will just arrive in their casual wear if I do that so well I can try it why not let's just have them drive in their wedding outfits I've actually already gone ahead and prepared that so that they both have nice wedding dresses to wear. So this is what Sophie is going to look like for her wedding. I gave her a pretty high neckline because I don't think that she is um, someone who would enjoy showing cleavage or anything like that. She She's a bit more um, conservative, I think, in that way. And now we have Lauren. She, on the other hand, will show a bit of cleavage. They have a little bit different style and uh, she has a very formal hairstyle as well. She's plenty more older than Sophie's. So I think that um, she really wants to go all out. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to have them go to the church. All right, so here we are at the church. 
girls are pulling in. And uh, Christy has arrived without her work outfits on, so I'm going to make her selectable first thing. And um, using management wear uniform. So she looks like the priest. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is just turning off free will just during the ceremony to make things uh, easier. And uh, yeah, I figured that the girls should meet the priest. <laughs> Apparently Lauren thinks she's attractive. <laughs> I see. Good, and also Sophie. Nice. So I have prepared a spreadsheet for this. And it looks like this. So we have Christy as the priest, her first wedding ceremony, or first ceremony at all, actually. Um, and then we have um, Amin, who's going to play the piano for his daughter. And we have, of course, Ricky, who's going to be the photographer. Lilith and Ophelia are going to be the band <laughs> that plays in the evening. And then we have all of the wedding guests here. And these are the ones that I'm going to invite. Um, I have had a few weird random crushing issues <laughs> though uh, while inviting some sims over and uh, I also think that the game is um, lagging a little bit right now at least on this community a lot. Um, so I'm going to attempt to only invite to the party the closest family uh, except for Brandon because Brandon specifically just like with Darren Dreamer in a recent episode causes that weird crash issue when he is invited with the phone. <laughs> so still haven't figured out why that happens, but yeah, I'm keeping an eye on him specifically. Uh, so I'm going to summon him as well as the other uh, friends in with the sim blender instead. I think it's going to make this run a bit smoother, hopefully. So that's the theory anyway. <laughs> so let's see how that works. Um, and I'm going to use Lauren to throw the wedding party because she actually wants to do it. So, oh right, the one thing before I uh, forget. Mm, looks like we're having some sims come in here, so it might not be an issue right now, but um, I want to make sure that the, the visitor controller is actually not restricting anything right now. Looks like it might not be doing that, except for NPCs, I guess. Maybe it's actually allowing those as well, ban all the NPCs. Yeah. Um, because I think it would be a lot easier to apply the restrictions after they've arrived and I've made them selectable. <laughs> I think that's going to work a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay, Lauren, now you can do it. No, Marsha, sorry. We are busy. Right, so these are the, the closest family. Um, so I'm going to start with them, I think. I think that's a good idea. Good. So they're starting to arrive, so I'm going to make them all selectable. Okay, good. So now I've got them selectable, then I can apply for the um, visitor controller to restrict all ages as well as, yeah, actually ages should do it, I think. So let's see. Yeah, looks like it's working and there was someone in here as well. So you, my dear, you have to stop that. Okay, good. It worked. So yeah, and looking at Danielle, she's wearing a uh, dress that I don't recall picking out for her, so I'm suspecting that something is um, messed up with her clothing. So I'm gonna get her something else. Okay, great. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna start to teleport in the other guests. Right. And he... He has the priest outfit. Yeah, he shouldn't have that. So I need to also uh, fix his um, formal outfit. Good. Okay, so let's see who we're missing here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Oh yeah, also Ricky. Now that I think about it, because he's of course gonna have to be here from the start uh, to take the photos for for them. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so of course I need to <laughs> make sure that everyone, yeah, everyone, clothing, formal. Yeah, good. But that's gonna mess also with Christy, I think. Yeah, she shouldn't be wearing this as the priest. <laughs> so, good. Right, so we have all of the sims. I think I'm gonna just do this, uh, get them out of there to speed things up a little bit. Okay, and looking at this, I don't think I picked this for her either. So I'm also gonna give her something else. Yeah, okay, nice. So... Um, that's all the sims and that's all the proper clothing and everything so yeah um thing is about the weddings that i usually want to place them according to family like this but unfortunately i don't know if it's the range from the wedding arch or if it's like these fences that are in the way or something but they always get up uh, to watch the ceremony anyway. But I do like um, having them sit like that and just having the visual of it anyway before uh, <laughs> the actual ceremony starts. Because it creates such a nice um, atmosphere, I guess you could say. So I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> it might be a little bit fiddly and take time, but uh, I think it's worth it actually. So yeah, I'm going to go by family. And yeah, I think I'm going to put the Lillards here and the Miguels here. But of course, Amin is going to play the piano. So I'm going to start by having him do that. And of course, Christy is going to be the priest. So she's going to stand there. Lauren, I think, can go ahead and stand by the altar. And then Sophie can walk the aisle later. Um, yeah, Brandon can sit down here. I'm just gonna hit run and see <laughs> where everybody ends up and um, who who I need to finish up with. Right, so who am I missing? Right. Um, Actually, I think, yeah, these guys should sit further at the back, I think, because, um, yeah, Iris and Lily are actually a lot closer to Sophie, <laughs> so I'm going to have them sit further at the front. Good, and we have Brittany. Yeah, yeah, and of course I... Um, I didn't invite Alexander <laughs> because, yeah, they, um, they have a little bit of a shaky relationship right now. <laughs> so awkwardly enough, I'm going to sit down Ricky right behind Angela in the church where he left her at the altar. Very, very good. <laughs> That's just how it's going to have to be. Awesome. Oh, God. What the... <laughs> Guys, can you have a little bit of decorum? <laughs> I mean, this is fine, but Jesus. <laughs> okay, so Lily has stood up for some reason, so... Uh, oh no, what happened now? <gasps> oh God. Are you seeing this? Is she gonna say yes? She said no. Oh, thank God. But Rami, what? <laughs> Okay, well, party has barely even started. <laughs> Jesus. Right next to his girlfriend. That's so bad. Oh, dear. Yeah. Wow. Just wow. I bet she's furious now. Then. Uh, she's Okay, she's... 
she's just lost lost her uh, warm feelings for him, I guess. So yeah, so we'll have to see what happens during the party. I mean, technically she's not in love or like having a crush or anything anymore. So, oh well, <laughs> that's a good start. Uh, <laughs> I think it's about time that you walk the aisle, Sophie, because uh, things are starting to go outward. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to have her walk into the church. Great, so I'm just gonna have them hug a little bit to start out. It's nice, and they're taking in Amin's beautiful piano playing. So, yeah, it's time to. Um, have them get married, really. Oh, this is adorable. This is actually part of the um, the most updated romantic standards uh, mod, I think, uh, because it has this so auto socials, and uh, I noticed that parents and other siblings are starting to cuddle with their yeah with their siblings or children <laughs> on the couch autonomously. So that's really cute. <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, time for them to get married. And uh, I actually decided that they should take on Sophie's last name because there are a lot of Lillards and I just figured that I want to, yeah, develop the Miguel family a little bit more. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna have Sophie get married. I actually have this mod in that changes it to, to get married. I think I locked this once before I got it, so it still says get joined there, but Lauren should have the uh, yeah get married version of it. I think that's going to affect the memory as well, the wording. We'll have to see. But apparently it doesn't affect the, um, the wedding arch, unfortunately. Right, yeah, so let's let's do this. Great, so they've gotten married. They're both called Miguel now. <laughs> That's awesome. And we're up to not bad. Uh, apparently these guys are making out. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. Some of the sims are still sitting. That's interesting. Oh well. Right, so that's it for Amin's piano playing. As well. And yeah, it's time for them to move into the um, this house. So I'm going to have Christy unlock this. Oh yeah, also before I forget, uh, of course, Ricky uh, needs to take a good photo of them. And up until now, I have just been using this sort of Bon voyage camera like they have in the inventory but seeing as he's actually a wedding photographer I think I'm going to 
to give him the reward object. Um, I think I have it under here. Yeah, here it is. And yeah, it doesn't cost anything good. So then I can just put it in his inventory after. So I'm just gonna have, right. Um, I'm pretty sure I want it to be a landscape. And normal, I guess. And these guys, I'm just gonna go with a tender kiss, I think. Just have to time it well, <laughs> so I'm gonna have them do it again. Okay, good. So this is just the tricky part about positioning it well. That should do it, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna end up with it in his inventory at once. <laughs> is it? Oh, okay. So I guess he, the photo is right there. He can sell it, but can't he? Uh... Oh, he can pick it up. Okay, good. So it is pretty dark in there. I'm just gonna <laughs> bring it out to the, uh, oh no. <laughs> Wrong button. Um, to the light. Yeah, that's pretty nice, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And of course, I'm gonna have it in one of theirs, their inventories. Because they're the customer. <laughs> Nice. So Ricky is gonna get the camera in his inventory. And he's gonna hang around at the party as well. Um, because yeah, that's what wedding photographers do. But that's the only thing I'm gonna do with him for now. Um, I think that's good enough. Something for them to put on the wall. But the idea is that he's um, going around snapping photos of everyone, of course. So, yeah. Usually um, having them have a toast is a good way to get everyone into the room. So I think, yeah, Amin is going to toast to his daughter. Toast to the newlyweds. Yes. Uh, and he's in his everyday outfit. <laughs> and I think also Christy changed again. So, mm, no, sorry. And you can just walk in here. Um, and I'm in appearance. Good. So I think that should do it. So apparently already one of the balloons has popped. So I think I'm gonna exchange that for a fresh one. Right. So Christy, you can actually serve the food. Let's see if the wedding guests are... <laughs> yeah, looks like they're walking. Good. Right, this might be a bit wonky under the stairs. <laughs> but let's just ignore that. Oh, oh, all of you at once. I thought I had... I thought I had the need freak fix that. What's the settings? Oh, it's not working. Fix token, I guess. Check settings. Oh, okay, it's not okay, it's not doing anything right now. Defender mode. All max a hundred. All min minus one hundred. And then bladder. I think I think that they shouldn't really be using the bathroom, so let's just have it at 75. Um, hygiene can also be set it to zero. Um, 
Yeah, but the other things is fine, I think. So let's just check the settings. Yeah, looks good to me. So that should fix the the bathroom failure things. Okay, so he was for some reason interrupted, but everyone is on the way now. Um, so I'm going to try it one more time. Toast to the newlyweds. I don't think it was intended for this many sims. <laughs> but it's, yeah, good. It's working now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I think they're walking up to each other to kiss under the stairs right now. <laughs> or like in the stairs, possibly. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. So let's move on to cutting the cake. I'm going to have Sophie do that. <laughs> and she wasn't very kind. <laughs> Sometimes they are. So let's see if they're sitting down in the correct seats. No, okay, but almost. Um, great, so now the party is over, but this is where the um, sort of the wedding thing uh, takes over, or well, the, the party part of it. <laughs> the ceremony is over, that is. So I'm just going to keep everyone on the lot. Yeah. Um, and this is also the point when I can, yeah, this is something that I decided that I should do after the previous wedding because uh, they kept wanting to go in here. So I'm actually going to use Christy to lock this door, lock for all sims so that they don't walk in there. I don't want them to. And then I am going to turn on free will again and just let the, the chaos commence. <laughs> so they're just gonna go ahead and eat cake looks like and hopefully the ones who don't eat cake will start to dig into the food. Looks like Sophie's starting to talk business. <laughs> Oh, okay. There was some error with the chair, looks like. I think it must was around this chair, possibly, because it's just standing there now. Oh, it works. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. I think it was this, possibly. Let's try this again. Hmm. Well, this time it didn't throw them out of the chairs, so it seems to be working. I don't know why it's throwing that error all the time. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, seems to be specifically with with this table or these tables. I it could be that these are too close, but it's always worked well with those kinds of chairs. Uh, I guess I can try to change it out for these ones instead. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to start having Christy cleaning up. That's going to be her task <laughs> as the priest. Um, just to keep things running smoothly. Uh, didn't see what happened here, but for some reason they did not have a good interaction, I guess. No, something is weird. Okay, they're really not getting along. I don't know, maybe I just have to change out the chairs. I'm gonna try that. Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah, so Christy, are you cleaning? Yeah, good. Right, so that seems to be the time when I should have uh, Lilith and Ophelia arrive to set up the band. So, yeah, I think I normally have them wear their um, formal outfits, actually. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, so they're gonna go up here. Lilith is going to take the guitar and I'm gonna have Ophelia on uh, the bass. And I think that, um, yeah, that's gonna work out. Right, but it's actually, um, I picked the wrong thing, I think. It needs to be perform, not play or practice. Oh God, is it? I think it might be that chair now. Let's perform rock. And Lily, no, don't do that. Right, so I think I realized the last time that this music, for some reason, they can't dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually had to turn this on as well, just to enable that option. You can just uh, dance normally, I guess, for now. God, I'm getting crazy about these chairs. Yeah, it was these ones this time, so... I have no clue. I think I have exchanged all of them now. Okay, so let's see here. Um, you and you walk up there, please. Christy, are you still cleaning? I feel like I have to keep an eye on her. No, she's not, so clean up this. I don't know what Ricky said to Britney, but... <laughs> okay. Um, she was interrupted on the way up, apparently, so... Let's go up here. Zachary. No. Um, oh, wow, that's a high tip. I think that they will appreciate that. Of course, uh, Dirk is supporting Lilith. That's very cute. Nice. So I'm going to have those two dance. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The police officers are fighting. Seems like a bad thing. Uh, and apparently Angela had a bad interaction with Chandler. Uh, yeah. Things are happening for sure. So... Yeah, oh, they're, they're tipping so much money. Uh, no, Dirk. I think I'm gonna have to actually... I used to have a mod uh, to stop autonomous... Um, playing on this completely, but it's conflicted unfortunately with the um, Argon um, something something music mod. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like having the custom instruments. So I'm I currently I don't know what to do about this. Um, but I guess for now I can um, have uh, Oliver play. Uh, okay go here just to um, occupy this so that they don't start using it um, Derek why don't you just dance or show you can also dance looks like these guys are um, there now we can join so that the drum set is also occupied <laughs> but this time at least I have solved this issue that they weren't like visibly joining in so one thing is old, another thing is not. <laughs> yeah. But these guys are uh, having a good time, looks like.
kärlek att är min första färd fader. Lite så här fint. So all in all, it looks like the, the party is going on well now. They're all having fun, and that's awesome. It's just so nice to see all of the Sims interacting like this on their own as well. God, those chairs. <laughs> Seems to be the rule uh, that things can never just go smoothly, can it? <laughs> Always oh, some error or other. Looks like Jessica and uh, Kian are fine dancing together down here. That's probably a good idea to keep him away from the the adults dancing <laughs> and partying. <laughs> Speaking of which, where is Valerie? Oh, she's actually up here dancing. That's fine. Yeah. It's actually midnight. I think that uh, the party guests are trying to starting to get tired and it's time to call an end to this. So the band is packing their things, um, taking their instruments and uh, are preparing to head out. And I think that uh, also Ricky has uh, yeah, taken all of the photos that he needs to take. Uh, he's currently standing behind Angela, waiting to poke her, so <laughs> I think I need to get him away from her anyway. Um, she is also very angry with him, but I think that maybe she attacked him or something because he's uh, furious with her. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So Ricky is going to start to head out and as will uh, Lilith and Ophelia as well.
Ricky is returning home after that very difficult conversation with Lilith. And he is, of course, feeling terrible about the whole situation. And, uh, yeah, really, really angry, of course, as well. Um, so, um, as he arrives, I think that he wants to vent <laughs> a bit to Phoenix. So, he's going to start arguing. But um, it's not really arguing about something that Phoenix did. It's more like he's ranting about Lilith and all of the things that she said to him and the fact that he can't see his daughter and I think that everything is just sort of crashing down for Ricky right now. He's at his wit's end and he can't imagine what he has to do now um, because he feels like he's between a rock and a hard place. Um, and unfortunately he takes out a little bit of that anger and frustration on Phoenix but of course Phoenix realizes where this is coming from and does his best to just be supportive of Ricky and uh, just be firm. I mean, already this morning he told Ricky that he should really take Lilith to court to just claim his own daughter and um, yeah, let the world know that she's his. And uh, if it's needed, he can take a paternity test to prove that he is the father. And um, I think that Ricky is starting to come along to his way of thinking. Because after this conversation, I think that he's not going to try to keep working on Lilith and try to befriend her again. I think he realizes that that ship has sailed. So, um, yeah, I think that he's just going to let Phoenix distract him for now um, just spend the evening not thinking um, just being in his arms and uh, yeah let go of reality and um, come the morning he's going to have to do something more drastic than what he has done so far yeah so they are both exhausted and I think it's time for them to just go to bed And as the two of them are falling asleep, I'm going to end this episode. So that was it both for Ricky and uh, also for um, Tuesday, week four. So next time we're going to move over to Wednesday and restart the rotation. So I hope to see you there. And I hope that you, of course, enjoy this episode. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. Take care. Bye.